The most numerous of soil microorganisms are the bacteria. They have a wide variety of shapes, sizes, and functions. Some can even live in environments without free molecular oxygen. Their sizes usually range from about 2 tenths to 3 micrometers. Remember, there are a thousand micrometers in a millimeter. This is a plate culture of soil bacteria. Soil may contain as many as a million to 100 million of these organisms per gram. Therefore, a handful of soil may contain more bacteria than there are people on the face of the earth. Notice the different uh, sizes and shapes of the colonies as you scan the plate. Colonies that are lens shapes are actually embedded in the auger and the cells reproduce in one plane. Here is a closer view at 100x magnification. Other colonies are more diffuse and it's not as easy to see the edge of their colonies. The lace colony is a common soil bacillus, which is modal and leaves behind offspring as it moves on the plate surface. It is easy to see the movement at 1000x magnification after placing a cover slip and viewing the edge of the colony. At 1000x magnification, a common housefly would be about 10 meters long. The bacterial colonies produce an antibiotic inhibiting growth of its surrounding neighbors. Antibiotics are produced by fungi, actinomycetes, and bacteria. This is a view of a zotobacter growing on a soil surface. Azotol means nitrogen in Russian, and these bacteria can fix their own nitrogen. We see the shiny surface of their colonies. The colonies are easier to see at greater magnification. To produce this culture, the soil is enriched with an energy source but no nitrogen, therefore giving a selective medium for organisms such as Azotobacter that can use nitrogen out of the air for growth and reproduction. Some bacteria are extremely important in their involvement with higher plants in fixing nitrogen symbiotically. If we go out into a soybean field, pull up a plant and look carefully at the roots, we can see small round structures called nodules which house the bacteria that allow the plant to fix nitrogen. If we take a nodule and cut into it, we can see the color of the interior. A rich red color indicates active nitrogen fixation occurring. This nodule is literally crammed with millions of bacteria of the genus Bradyrhizobium. There are many nitrogen-fixing legumes. Most beans, such as kidney, green, or lima beans, fix nitrogen from the atmosphere. Garden peas, forage crops such as alfalfa, clover, trefoil, all fix nitrogen. Some shrubs also fix nitrogen. Alter grows commonly in the northwest USA and in Alaska. The endophyte, or organism inside the nodule, in this case is an Atenomycetes of the genus Frankia. Members of the Atenomycetes are known as thread bacteria.